Five, four, three, two, one. For better kids, for a better future, for your partners and preparing your children, for a bigger world, for a good foundation. Wise Kids School is the right one for you. Wise Kids School is the right one for you. Wise Kids School for the children of tomorrow. We do our best to train up your kids to be the prime movers of the next generation. Wise Kids School for the children of tomorrow. Wise Kids School, the right one for your children. Wise Kids Day, everyone! For those who do not know me, I am Teacher Mitch Costillo, educator for about 30 years, ang tagal na po, no? Mother of five and homeschool parent of three. I am also the director of Wise Kids School of Montinlupa, and we have been doing homeschooling for about 15 years. So right now, we're going live. Before po, we did the YouTube on the differentiation of homeschooling as compared to that of the traditional learning. And then from that, we had the sequel. Ano nga po ba yon? It's about the frequently asked questions. And then there, we discussed about the five different learning options that are offered by Wise Kids School. Pwede pong offline at pwede rin po na online. After po nun, parang ang dami-dami pa pong mga naging questions eh. So just to do a public service to all of the parents who are still struggling, anong gagawin with this pandemic, kaya ko ba? So ito po ang aming public service sa inyo. So ngayon po, we will try as much as possible to answer some questions. And uh, these are the most prominent questions that I could remember. Like, one question was asked, like, how would a typical day look like? They cannot imagine, as in bringing the school into the house. Another question is that, how will I be able to teach my kids when I'm not a teacher? And my goodness, I have work to do. Paano ang gagawin? Isa po yan sa pipilitin natin, sisikapin nating daanan. Isa po pong tanong is, how many hours per day? are going to be used for the homeschooling setup. They cannot imagine, like if it's a high school student, 7 o'clock to 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock to 5 o'clock, for real, nakaharap talaga sa screen for such a long time. Susubukan po nating sagutin din po yan. And then there was also another question, kasi ako po 5 eh, sa kanya mas konti. Sabi niya, what if I have 3 kids? And we only have two gadgets, like two laptops. How will be able to schedule the use of their gadgets if everyone is going online? Yan, dadaanan din po natin yan. Paano yung assessment, like teacher? Would they be going to the school just to take the assessments? Kasi we have some inquiries po as far as Olonga po. Sa mga taga Olonga po, hello po. Meron din pong Baguio. Talaga naman, ang layo-layo na nang naabot ng ating pong reach. No? Meron pong from Tagaytay. So yung nag-inquire po from Tagaytay, hello po. Meron din pong from Quezon City. So thank you po for tuning in ngayong gabi. So isa pa pong question, like there's this kindergarten inquiry. Sabi niya, will the teacher be doing the classes for the kindergarten for three hours? Kaya ba ng bata to stay tuned for three hours. So, ayan po ang sisigapin natin ngayong ating live session. Let me start first with differentiation. Although I discussed it before dun po sa dalawang um, YouTube videos natin, you can probably check it out dun sa ating uh, YouTube channel po ni Teacher Mitch. Or maybe you can visit the Wise Kids uh, page. Please like and also please share. Uh, we need to discuss first the differences among the various concepts of homeschooling, remote learning, and there's another one, that's the modular learning. Technically, by, by strict definition, yung pong homeschooling is parent-led. So, everything comes from the parent. It is also 
home-based. Kaya nga po homeschool. The schooling is done in the home and the teacher is the parent. The student, of course, is your child. It is a full learning experience. Now, when you say it's parent-led, clarification lang po, it is somewhat personalized. You don't copy as is what is done by the teacher inside the classroom. And when you say it's home-based, it is flexible. So just to make things clear. Remote learning naman po. Remote, like remote control, di ba? It is teacher-led. So all the contents are coming from the teacher. But the learning is not done in the classroom. The learning po is done in the house or anywhere which is far from the classroom. Kaya po, yun po ang difference ni remote. Another term for remote is that of distance learning. Pag sinami pong remote learning and distance learning, it could be both. It could be offline. Offline means you don't need a Wi-Fi connectivity at the time that you're doing the study. And online, it could be sync the same time or it could be asynchronous, could be everything else is provided in the net, but could be at a different time that you'll be able to access it. So, yun po yung synchronous and asynchronous. Ulitin lang po natin, please, let's participate on this. You can probably chat also. And, and for those friends of yours who are struggling, share po ang video na ito. Para once and for all, makatulong po tayo sa pag explain at mabawas-bawasan ang stress ng buhay. Hindi po dapat makadagdag ang ating mga anak, ang education po nila sa sobrang stress na po na dala ng crisis na ito. So ulitin po natin. Homeschooling, ano nga po? Dalawang bagay yon Home-based, yes, and yes, parent-led. Pag remote learning, kanina nang gagaling, it's teacher-led. Pag sinabing teacher-led, the content comes from the teacher. Kaya lang, remote, it's not done inside the correct classroom. Ngayon, modular learning naman po. Ang modular learning is an alternative learning. Na gumagamit po siya, kaya nga po modular, ng developed modules that caters to the different needs of the students. Yung pong naka-experience na po sa amin sa Wise Kids, meron po tayo, the one that we did and we used for Filipino, that's an example of a module. Correct. So, for the definition ng ating pong ginagamit dito sa options ni Wise Kids, yung homeschooling po, medyo in-adjust adjust po natin ng konti. Because everybody, almost everyone na nag-inquire would want to stay at home. For safety, because it's really safer at home. Ngayon, ang sakit ng ulo nila kung sila pa po ang magtuturo at sa kanila magagaling yung content. So let's just make a redefinition of our homeschooling to mean schooling done at home. It does not necessarily mean that you parents will be the one to provide the content. So, clear na po tayo doon. So, ang tanong ng bayan, schooling during a crisis, mm, kaya ko ba? Pag-usapan po natin yung basics muna. Kasi meron pa po itong sequel. I'm sure marami pa pong tanong na lalabas mula dito. But if you're just tuned in, please po, pasulat po ng inyong mga questions, pa-chat po dyan, and we will try as much as possible to answer those. Paki-like po, paki-share, and paki-subscribe po sa Teacher Mitch channel po sa YouTube. Thank you po. Thank you po. So, tatlong bagay po ang aking pong pag-sisikapin uh, na ituro sa inyo, i-share sa inyo, three basic considerations. For easy review, we will have, number one is mindset. Number two is skill set. And number three is tool set. If you're chatting po, paki-type po ulit yung tatlo sa kaya ko ba. One, yes, it's mindset. Two, yes, it's skill set. And number three, yes, it's tool set. Now, yung mga nakatune in po na parents, 
na experience nyo po ito, di ba? Somewhat, this is what we're going to do with your children. Magla-live din po kami sa kanila ng mga from time to time about the lessons and about some doing follow-ups. So let's start with mindset. Napaka-importante nito. It all starts with you, dear parent, with your mindset. Paalala ko po sa lahat. Parents, be flexible and have an open mind. Flexible, bago po ito eh. It, is not, it has not been tried and tested. Everything else that we're coming up with, bagong bago po. So, Every now and then, there are adjustments, like in all the announcement, announcements po, tentative pa lang. Kasi nga po, we have to be a real flexible mom and a real flexible dad. And please have an open mind. Sinabi ko po yan in one of the vlogs dun sa aking po channel, that perspective is very, very important. It all starts with the attitude the perspective of the parent. Kasi you'll be the one to help the teacher do the learning. So kung kayo po sarado, kung kayo po sasabihin nyo po hindi kaya, mahirap, eh talaga pong magiging mahirap. In this time of chaos, nako, napaka-importante that we stay calm. Hinga po ng malalim and breathe in a lot of hope. Yung po mga balibalitang hindi na yata matutuloy ang pasok, nakakatakot, lahat po ng bagay may solusyon. Lahat po ng bagay meron pong katapat na action po yan. So please, we got your back here in Wise Kids. We will help each other on how to make the learning experience possible and it's not so um, burdensome po. So once again, mindset. Malawak na perspective, flexible, kaya natin, kalma lang mami. Don't worry, don't panic, maayos po natin ito. We are one team. Kami po, ang mga teachers, kayo po, at ang mga bata. We belong to one team. Walang laglagan po dito, mula simula hanggang dulo. Pero if you remember in, in, in my discussion in the first um, video, the why of everything should be clear. Bakit ba ako mago homeschooling or ala homeschooling? Kasi it's safer at home. Bakit ko nga ba gagawin na turuan ng anak ko? Kasi sayang yung panahon if we're not going to continue their learning. Bakit ako? Kasi po wala pong iba. You're the one in the better position. But you're not alone. We're here to help you. If it's possible po, please sponsor a watch party para po sa video natin. Okay, relax, relax ng konti. Once again, nag adjust po kayo. Lalo po kaming mga teachers. Sobrang tindi po. If you can just see our, you know, our backstage, the, the, the stress is so high. The changes are often, the meetings are often too. Kasi nga po, everybody is adjusting. But, one thing po, ang magaling na tao, at lalong gumagaling, he is the one who is really very open to change. Ngayon, another thing about the mindset is that you have to have a clear idea of your role as a parent and our role as your teachers. Kung dun po sa ibang um, modes of learning like the basic, the advanced, and customized, hindi po masyadong challenge because all the materials will be the one teaching your kids. Everything else are there. The parents will just guide them. Pero pagdating po kasi sa remote at blended na online pareho, yun po, the content will come from the teachers. But your role as parents is to set the computer, do the pushing, pushing, the motivation, checking, checking, monitoring. That's the one that we need to ask from you. Isa pa po, um, ever since the Wise Kids has started, we have always made it clear 
na ang school po ay hindi auto mechanic shop na you know may sira yung kotse ko dadaling ko ano po ba ang sira pagdating ng 3 hours or 6 hours lahat ng nireklamo ko ayos na people are complicated your child is very complicated so it doesn't have to be like pag nilagay sa school mafi-fix na pag nilagay sa bahay hindi mafi-fix meron pong mga collaboration that we need to do as in tag team po tayo and we are not let me clarify that we are not expecting you to be the teacher of your kids unless you're on the customized option but we are just asking for your help to guide them to remind them of the schedules and the submission now in the la in and in the latest faqs youtube I made a discussion of what are the roles expected from the students. Ano nga bang gagawin ng student? Eh, syempre po, mag-complete ng assignments. Gawin po with honesty ang mga bagay-bagay. Mag-attend po and mag-participate sa mga scheduled conferences and meet the deadlines. And of course, this is very important, di ba? When they have to face the online streaming or the video conferencing, magbihis naman po ng maayos. Kahit po yung ilalim na kasyors, at least nakaayos po yung, iba, yung ibabaw. Now, para naman po sa parents, syempre lahat ng gadgets, lahat ng setups, yun po ang i-expect namin sa inyo na i-make ready. And of course, keep on monitoring your children, and cooperate with us. So, hinga-hinga po ng konti. Flexibility, open mind, sabihin sa sarili, kakayanin natin to. Kasi if you're just going to say, hindi ko to kaya, wala na po, sinukuan nyo na to, sinukuan nyo na rin ang mga anak nyo. Sayang po yung one year, di ba? So, please, let's now go to another one in the mindset. Let's adjust our level of expectation. This is schooling at home, not homeschooling in its rigid definition. Teacher-led po, pero ginagawa sa bahay. In the regular school, let's say grade 2, 7 to 12, kasi naman po madami sila. Ilan po yun? 30, 25. So talaga pong mahaba yung oras. But when it comes to doing school at home, it doesn't have to be that long. If your child is very productive and you know, talagang open ang mind niya, mabilis po make up, as short as 2 hours or 3 hours or even lesser, they would be able to do the task for the day. Kaya po, do not ever think na ooh, sobrang haba ba? No, it should not be the case. So, it's less hours. Ngayon po, gano'ng kadalas ba lalabas si teacher? It's not every day po. Kasi naniniwala kami sa Wise Kids School, abay, grabe, sirang-sira ang mata at ang grabe, ang gulo po ng pamilya. Kung iisa lang naman ang laptop, iisa lang ang iPad, paano na po? So, there is the makapangyarihang calendar. My schedule po kung kailan magko-conference. We will make sure, at least, at least yung mga maraming anak, na hindi magbabangga-bangga ang ating mga schedule. Promise po yan. Sisikapin namin sa abot ng aming makakaya. Ngayon po, once again, it is only limited in the pandemic time po talaga. What really matters are what really matters. So it's not the same as the regular school na ganito, ganito, ganito. There will be adjustments to cater to the purpose of why we're doing schooling at home. Ngayon ang tanong, ano po ang um, focus natin sa pag-aaral? Of course, hindi naman mawawala yan because we are an advanced children geared towards business and leadership. My focus po sa academics. Keri po yan. But unlike before that even the minor subjects have books, have lectures, medyo a-adjust in po natin. The English, Math, Science, Filipino, and AP, those are covered in the academics, right? 
But the other minor subjects like um, MAPE, the values, what else? Um, TLE or HE, those will be catered on a project based. Um, project based, uh, yeah, it's on a project based na system. So it doesn't have to be na nagle lecture si teacher Jeng, nagle lecture si teacher John for the computer. We will have to make sure of this. So ang ganda nga po eh, it's not just a Q academic quotient. This now involves emotional quotient. Kasi what matters at the end of the day is not whether they're good in math, Filipino, or science. Lalo nga yung crisis, importante ang life skills. Are they able to adjust? Kaya ba nilang mag-communicate, mag-open ng sarili po nilang um, elements? Kaya ba nilang mag-decide mismo, mag-send ng um, email, maggawa ng video? Those are part of the life skills. And for all you know, mas nagiging relevant ang education when it's done at home. Okay po? So once again, mindset, it's not that long. Kakayani namin, mag adjust si school, tutulungan kami ni school, tulungan po tayo. Kaya po natin ito. Okay? So for a moment, we will just have a, a minute of break. So please, pakitype po ang inyong mga questions and we'll try to get back to you after one minute. Hello po ulit. This is uh, Teacher Mitch and we are doing schooling during crisis. Kaya ko ba? And let me try to answer the um, questions, some of the questions that have been posted. Meron pong tanong doon na anong oras ang break? Hmm. Lahat po ng oras pwedeng break. It's so flexible. Now, joke ba yun? Ang isa pong question doon is what would be the schedule of each and every level? Once again, as I've told you, for advance, for the basic option, and for the customized, it's really very flexible. You have a minimum set of requirements per day. Those are the goals set per day. As long as you're able to accomplish it in your set number of hours, you're free to go. So, pwede ang anak nyo kaya ng three hours, dere derecho, then go. If your child is not able to do it ng three hours straight, pwede eight to nine, depende sa schedule na isaset nyo, pwede mamaya, mommy, 10 to 11, tapos mamaya na hapon, it's fine. As long as the set goals per day are all accomplished. Now, when it comes to the remote and blended once again, it is also flexible. Kasi po, hindi naman araw-araw may synchronous meetups. Synchronous means the same time na video conferencing. A lot of times, that's asynchronous. The folder is there in their LMS. They will get it. There are tasks for day. They need to read it. They need to watch this one. They need to answer this one. As long as they're able to do, it, that, do those things on the set time, then they're good to go. Yung video conferences lang, yung talagang pagsisikapan to be synced with the time. So, ayun po. Meron pa pong isang question, paano kung senior lang ang nandun, magagawa niya? Once again, mindset, kaya po. Later, sasagutin ko po yan. Pag nakita niyo po yung tool set and skill set, posible. Lahat ng bagay sa isang taong bukas ang isip, it's really possible. So once again, do not ever think that it's the same 7 to 12, 7 to 4. It's not. It's even lesser because the goals now are simpler as compared to that school setup. Now it's academic focus, yes, but there's a big element of emotional quotient focus or skills development focus. So, pwede ang, ang TLE nila naglalaba o siya ang paglulutuin nyo sa bahay. That could be part of their TLE. Or pwede ang computer nila dati with teacher John, isang oras at nanginginig pa. Ngayon, pwede pwedeng typing. Bibigyan namin sila ng typing work. Or maybe doing a PowerPoint presentation. And that's it already. Kasi sabi ko po sa inyo, it's skills-based Competencies. Okay? So please don't forget if you have just 
tuned in, subscribe to Teacher Mitch channel for the other videos at magkukuha po kayo ng notification for the next mukhang dumadami pa po kasi ang mga questions. Later po, we will try to answer the other questions. So, for those who have just tuned in, natapos na po namin. Kayang-kaya ba? Kayang-kaya kapag tama ang isip. Pag ang nasa isip, pwede akong mag-adjust. Pwede ko pa itong aralin. Kaya namin. Di naman ako mag-isa. Nandiyan naman si Teacher Mitch. Andiyan si Teacher Donna. Nandiyan si Teacher Wenica. Andiyan si Teacher John. Andiyan po ang teachers. Team po tayo. Kaya natin to. Kaya natin to, dear teachers. Kaya natin to, dear parents. So let's proceed to the second one. And that is skill set. Remember I told you a while ago na ito po, importanting i-consider na this is not just about learning math. This is not just about learning English, you know, test cons uh, sentence construction, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we need those. But at the end of the day, what really matters in life is the discipline that you get. At yan ang malaking bahaging madedevelop with schooling done at home. So, sa skill set, importante nga i-consider na partner po tayo and that you, near parents, para mabawasan ng stress, you're not going to be the source of content. Hindi po kayo talaga gumraduate to become teachers. Yes, pero kahit ano pong sabihin ninyo, tayo pa rin po talaga ang first teacher ng anak natin. Yun lang, ngayon, it, the role will be magnified. ba? Diba? May isang mga tanong doon. Um, teacher, sa inyo lang po natatakot yung anak ko. Pag ako po, wala talaga. Mm, salamat naman po dyan. And it really happens. But take note of this. Dapat po ma-establish yun that the children obey their parents that the children honor their parents. And it's not too late. We can restore that. The relationship can be restored and you will be able to adjust na yung role na dapat po ninyong gampanan ay gagampanan po natin. Yung nung panahon namin na takot kami sa magulang namin, hindi naman po talagang takot ngayon dapat, but at least, you know, the position of the parents should still be higher compared to that of the children. We're the bigger person. So at the end of it all, kailangan maibalik natin na susundin ang magulang ng anak. Kunti hindi. <clears throat> now, but please, please take note of this. Kayo po ay parent, hindi kayo teacher. So ibig sabihin, hindi ninyo dapat gayahin si teacher na A plus A. 2A plus 2A, A squared plus A squared. It's not that. You have to maintain the role of a parent, that loving mom, that loving dad, supportive mom, supportive dad. Pero at the same time, anak, kailangan natin yung task natin at hand. Kailangan natin mag-usap as a family. Kailangan natin balikan what really matters and what is really needed at the end of the day. So, yung skills na ito, yung life skills, yung tamang pagdedesisyon, yung tamang pagpili, prioritization, budgeting of time, that's the most important resource, ang pera na ibabalik. Pero yung oras na nawala, yun po ang mahirap ng ibalik. Right? So those are part of the skill set. Um, also, ang dami talagang bata na nagkakaroon ng hirap in terms of coping up with the changing environment, di ba? Kahit nga tayong adult, eh, parang, wow, all of a sudden, I'm all alone in this space. <clears throat> Excuse me, where are my friends? Di ba? Kaya nga po merong depression, <clears throat> merong um, nag-YouTube na lang to the max, meron pong ROS to the max, pero this is one of the skills that we have to develop nowadays. Self-control, and help our children to adjust na it all depends on you. But you have to do it first, mommy. You have to do it first, daddy, na, okay, this is the situation that I'm in. I cannot blame anybody. I need to have the growth mindset. I need to make the adjustment. Sabi nga, pag ang business, hindi nag-adjust, hindi nag-adopt ng change. Oh, ay, lulubog ang business. 
But those business who will thrive and survive and thrive are those who are able to make the necessary changes. So sa bahay, hmm, ito po ang panahon na lahat nag-new normal, na lahat nagda-transition, at lahat nagko-cope sa pagbabago. Life skills, life skills, life skills. Um, for all you know, <clears throat> ako kasi, I'm not used to facing the camera. Uh, hindi ko friend ang camera po. But with this situation, I don't have a choice but to learn how to face the camera, how to do lessons online, how to um, simplify complicated lessons that I usually teach in three hours into, what, five minutes, 30 minutes? Yung po mga YouTube ko, hindi po biro yun, grabe. 30 minutes po, but it took me three days, four days of whatever I have experienced for a long time to just capsulize in 30 minutes. So lahat po yan, nag -e evolve na different skills. Now, may question. Teacher, bakit hindi nagbago ang rates natin o konti lang ang ibinaba? Wala namang air conditioning place. Wala namang bayad sa, oh, ano ba yun, paggamit yeah. ng, pag, hindi, yung paggamit ng facilities, wala naman nun. Okay, excuse me lang po. Totoo naman po yun. But realize this, na pag nag-transition sa blended learning at remote learning, we have to make investments in terms of teacher's training, in terms of paying for the online systems, developing systems, learning management systems, hindi po lahat to libre. Tapos po, yung lesson po, alam po yan sa graduate studies, na ngayon po, dati binabayaran kami as professors ng per hour, let's say 3,000 or 2,000 per hour of doing live lecture. My goodness, for this time, when you do a one-hour lecture on video, it entails a lot of preparation just to simplify that. Yung pag-record nga po, magme-makeup ka pa, mag-aayos ka pa, nako, it will take time. So once again, yung natipid namin sa sabon, sa kuryente, lahat po yun, kung tutusin, kulang pa para sa gastos, sa transition. So please po, <clears throat> hindi po ito madali. This is a big adjustment for us. But if you're going to compare our fees with other schools, magugulat kayo, especially for big schools. You're all doing one and the same. You're all going to do schooling at home. Pero ang fees nila, they did not change and some went exorbitantly high. So, yun po yung explanation doon. Isa pang bagay in the skill set is this. Mm -hmm. Natututo kami sa mga bata. Ay, ang galing po nila pagdating sa computer. For all you know, makakapitalize nyo yun. Medyo teki-teki sila. Tayo, teki muna. Diba? So, pero paano ba to anak? Paano ba mag-zoom? Paano ba mag-ganito? Ay, ang gagaling nila mag-ROS. Gamitin natin yan para maging technologically better tayo and use it to our advantage. Parents, we are in the 21st century. And whether we like it or not, maiiwan tayo if we don't go online. Lahat na ng delivery, di ba? In transaction in the banks are all online. So why not education online? Right? So ito po yung mga bagay-bagay na atin pong a-adjust We will be able to know our kids better. That's for real. Sasabihin ko po sa inyo ito. Before we launch the programs of Wise Kids, the five programs, we did it to our five kids. We have a small space in the house. What we did at the start of the lockdown, we cannot lose our sanity. I cannot lose my sanity. So what we did, syempre, ano gagawin mo? Maghapon ng bata, walang gagawin. Nandito si mommy, andito si daddy, ay maluka-luka tayo niyan. So what we did, the first thing that we did, was to have structures. Lahat ng bagay pwede. At yung skill na natutunan namin is how to adjust to the different learning styles of our children. Gusto ni ano ganito, gusto ni ano ganito, paano tayo mag adjust At makinig sa kanila. Alam mo, mommy, before the lockdown, ganito kasi. Ako, emote, 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 emote. Those are the things na hindi kayang bayaran at hindi kayang matutunan sa school setup lang. But it happens during the time of crisis. Sabi nga, when it's time of the crisis, lumalabas sa mga skills na dating wala. 
and you evolve to become a better person. So, one minute ulit na break. Please, pachat na lang po ng inyong mga questions. At yung iba po kasi halos na dadaanan na natin. So, we'll try to answer it in a while. But please, don't forget to subscribe and please check on the other videos for homeschooling, blended learning, etc. and FAQs. See you in a bit. Hello, this is Teacher Mitch again. For those who have just tuned in, we are doing a live public service para sa mga struggling parents na schooling at home. Kaya ko ba? At ang sagot ng bayan ay kakayanin. Dahil walang choice kung hindi, hindi ito dapat sukuan. Hindi natin susukuan ng ating mga anak dahil mahal na mahal natin sila. Salamat po. I saw the names of my students from before. Mga mm, mama, miss na miss ko na kayong lahat. I just hope that we will be seeing each other soon sa ating mga um, next in-line na video conferences. But it's so nice to see kahit by text nyo lang nakakataba ng puso that you're there for us. Mayroon pong isang tanong doon, what about the examination? As I've told you before, iba na po ngayon, everything is online. If you're using the advanced, the basic, and the customized, all the assessments are built in. Now, if you're going to use the remote and that of the blended, all the assessments also will be done online. So, wala pong problema. Lahat po built in. We have tried it, I think, for the other students of ours last year. Nung natamaan po tayo ng lockdown, we were able to still proceed with the exam, right? Pero iibahin natin ang style. But it was doable. So, kering kering, kaya kaya po natin yan. Okay, let's go to number three. If you have been with us, the first one was mindset. Dapat isipin, kaya ko to. Hindi katulad ng regular schooling, may adjustment, basta maggawa ang naset na goals. Number two, skill set. Hindi lang po academics, it's also talking about life skills. At yun naman talaga ang importante. Kaya ko mag-level up ng skills ko as a parent at lalo naman ng anak ko. Magtutulungan kami para mag-level up ang skills niya at hindi puro teacher, teacher fed, teacher fed lang. Okay, number three, this is the very important thing, the tool set. May kapangyarihan po ito, the schedules and routines. Kahit saan naman po, sa classroom, may batas. Ay, de joke lang. Sa classroom, may schedule. Kasi at the start of 7 o'clock, diba? until 4 o'clock, meron po kaming schedule. Eh. Math, science, break time, paborito nyo yan. And then, um, AP with Teacher Ann or Teacher John, yan po may schedule. So, it's the thing also. You have to have this as a powerful tool. Everything is dependent on the schedule and routines. That's the one that I will be able to share with you on Saturday. You have an appointment with me also again on Saturday. And please share it to your other friends. Gagawa po ako ng simpleng basic schedule, simpleng daily schedule para po may sample po kayo. So, paggising sa umaga, anong oras magigising? Kami po dito sa bahay, syempre medyo lenient ng konti, medyo late gigising. Tapos, anong oras maliligo? Dito po sa classroom namin, sa sala po namin, darating sila ng ganitong oras. From this time until this time, they do online learning. Then, they have a nap time. Next, they resume to online learning. Tapos, board games, fun, 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 bike outside. Ganun po ang routines namin every day. May prayer time, may meal time, ganun po ang aming schedule. So essentially, I'm saying to you na ang lakas po at kapangyarihan ng progress ninyo sa bahay ay schedule. Nakapost po yan sa bahay namin. Hindi ko lang po kayo matur kasi maliit. Nakapost po ang schedule namin. Sino maghuhugas ng plato, sino magliligpit, sino maghahain, anong oras magsuskul, ano ang assignment mo. That's the power of the schedule. Tandaan, ang goal is to come up with a productive setup. Uulitin ko po, sa lahat po ng ito, may nakakalendaryo kasi, especially if you're going to avail the services of the school, that we provide the calendar. Yung WAP, naalala nyo po, di ba dun sa WAP, Monday, ito topic, Tuesday, ganito topic, Wednesday, ganito topic, meron din pong ganun. Pero it's not just the topic. There are also links of what videos you have to watch. Clarification. 
your child will not stay with us for three hours. My goodness, even Zoom meetings will not be effective to last if it's a long time like that. Na screen na nonood lang ng bata sa TV. Hindi po, it's not the setup of Wise Kids. Maybe for other schools, but not for Wise Kids because we know na malulus lang po ang attention ng bata kung ganon. So my limited time just to check on the children. But eventually, everything is in the folder. They have to do the tasks at hand. Question, paano mo gagawin? Anak ko yun eh, hindi nga ganun. Yun na nga po yun eh. Yun na nga yung change na mangyayari. They need to adjust. They need to level up their skills. And for all you know, the coping mechanism that this is the new normal, you have to adjust, anak. I have to adjust. Otherwise, we will not be able to survive. At magugulat kayo you'll be able to raise responsible children. Okay, schedules, routines. Mula paggising hanggang pagtulog. Next, dun po sa routines, kailangan din ng oras ng pagligo at oras ng pagkain. Kung ano yung isaset mong oras, that's very flexible. Nang oras ng klase niya, yun na po yung oras. Another thing in the tool set is, this is very crucial. Dedicated learning corner or space. Kung malaki ang bahay, space yun. Kung malit ang bahay, corner. Pwede naman po, kasi katulad kami dito, nakaharap lang sa TV yung maliit na table. Basta importante, may space siya. Na ang mindset niya, pag nandun siya sa space na yun, oops, learning mode on. Wala mo ng distractions kapag nandun. Kasama yan sa batas. Bawat classroom may batas. And that, you have to make it clear to your kids. There's cooperation. Anak, mommy's working from home. Pag nakasarado yung pinto ni mommy, or may sign si mommy na, okay, mommy's at to work, walang magdi-disturb, dapat clear yun sa lahat. That's part of the adjustments. Once again, may adjustments na lahat magaganap. Pati space, nilinisi niya yung space niya, he has to maintain no noise or distraction. Cell phones out. Wala mo ng ROS. Kod, 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 kod ba yan? Ilang oras lang ang pwede? Anong oras pwede? Yan po. Kung kami nag endorse ng cell phone, mag-start ng class, baka naman po maisama sa inyong mga rules. But don't, don't worry. We will guide you. We will share with you our notes on the rules that we are implementing in our house po. Um... Another thing, aside from the schedule, routines, space sa bahay, saan si kuya, saan si ate, saan si mommy, saan si daddy, this is important. Nakita ko po din sa question, senior lang or si nani lang. Ito po, nakita ko sa isang homeschooler namin before. Since uh, she adopted the um, customized, what she did, kasi pag customized po, the curriculum provider gives you everything. The videos, kaya po pinopromote ko talaga yun eh. That's what I used, I'm using right now is the customize. So wala akong stress, i-on lang namin. These are your assignments, kay Elise, kay Carl, kay Pia, these are the assignments. And then they get to notify us, the system notifies us kung nagawa ang assignment, nagsiset lang kami ng goal, ilan per day, nagawa ang quiz kasi built in naman po yun. Pag hindi, naintindihan, panoorin ulit ang video. Tataas ba ang quiz? Pag hindi, uulitin ulit. May way yung customized curriculum to adjust. So, meron pong parent na wala siya doon. So, ang ginawa niya, let me share this with you. Bumili siya ng security camera. Yung webcam, pinaset up niya doon. So, nag-uusap sila ng anak niya kapag oras na ng klase nila sa classroom. Kasi 9 o'clock to 10 yon. Tapos nasa work na siya. So okay, naka-turn on lang yun. Nag-video cam lang sila. Nag-video conferencing. O anaki, this is how you turn the computer. What did I tell you? Okay, I'll get back to you in hour. Ganyan po. So, yun po. Posible yun. Posible. And by the way, we have to teach our kids to be more um, flexible, to be more responsible, and accountable. Okay. By the way, um, important thing, my meeting. <laughs> Kasi po, at the end of the day, may rules kami, 
but we're very flexible, hindi nasunod, nagkaroon ng glitches, we are able to adjust easily. Meeting tayo ulit, what works, what did not work, and then do it, reshuffle again. It's a never-ending never learning experience. At ang saya-saya talaga. Ang dami talagang nade-develop. Okay? Another, you can probably invest in supplies. Wala nang uniform, di ba? Wala na pong school service. Mamimiss nyo si Tatay Sani. Mamimiss yung mga si Kuya Chat, si Kuya Toti. Pero yung savings doon, pwede po kayong bumili ng extra workbooks kasi kung tapos na po yung inyong task at hand na online, ang dami pa pong oras. Kaya yung isang anak ko, mag-gymnastic siya online. So, di ba, maraming oras. Yung isa naman po, tapos na siya. Ang bilis niya in two hours, tapos na niya yung goals niya. Nan, na ang tagal pag nasa classroom. Kasi hihintay-hintay pa ni teacher si ano, si ano, si ano. Eh dahil siya lang, eh ang bilis niya. So marami pa siyang oras. I, I bought him some books, extra books. And those are the things na inaaral niya. Yung panganay ko naman po, eh di tugtog lang ng tugtog. Edit, edit, nag-aaral siya ng video editing. Aba, eh malaki ang kita ng video editing, hindi ba? So ito po yung mga bagay na, okay, ang dami pa lang pwedeng gawin sa maraming oras. We're able to accomplish our um, education goals earlier, and so we are we are faced with a lot of time. Para linisi ng kwarto, magtiklop ng mga bed sheets, maglinis ng aso, maglinis ng kotse. Those could be part of the TLE for all you know. Matutung magluto ng adobo na hindi ko natutunan, magluto ng sinigang na hindi ko rin natutunan sa aking practical arts teacher na pweding pweding matutunan ngayon. Now, those could be part of the HE projects. So really, and dami po talaga. So kung may mga extra savings, yung headset po, pang control ng noise. At pang focus ng mga videos na inaaral nila. Okay po ang iPad. Okay po yung tablets. Okay po yung Android na mga cellphones. It's fine. But if you are able to save some amount of money, you can probably invest in a bigger screen. Or maybe yung laptop po ninyo, pero clear lang kasi, you know, medyo fragile ng konti. So, printer, kasi ang dami pong worksheets na pwede, yung DepEd Commons lang po for extra worksheets. And then maybe, meron din mga um, on how to make meaningful essays. Kayong mga bata, pwede nang gumawa ng mga stories kasi ang haba pa po ng oras, okay na siya sa task niya. Ang dami-dami talagang pwede. You just have to be very resourceful and creative. Tandaan, yung panahon natin, ang talino ng nanay, lahat ng information. Alam ni nanay, alam ni tatay. Pero ngayon, matalino na ang taong marunong mag-Google. Marunong mag-check online of whatever it is. And for all you know, hindi na po limitado ang education in the four corners of the world. Okay. So, I'm again giving you a minute to post your other questions. At may flag ceremony po ba? Pwede naman. Bakit naman hindi? May mimiss nyo ba si Ate Fer sa break time? Pwede naman magpa-deliver si Ate Fer ng inyong snacks dyan sa inyong bahay. Basta, online lang ang delivery at ang Lala Move ay care of sa inyo. Biro lang po. So, subukan po natin sagutin yung iba po ninyo pang mga questions. After one minute of pause, Okay, hello Let This is Teacher Mitch and we're doing homeschooling or blended learning. Ano bang learning yan? Basta schooling during crisis, kaya ko ba? At ang sagot ng bayan ay kayang-kaya. Walang hindi kakayanin si mommy, walang hindi kakayanin si daddy. Paalala lang din po sa lahat ng um, mga nag-post ng questions. Most of those questions have been answered already. I don't know if there's a replay of this or maybe you can watch it again so you can uh, course through the answers to the other questions. Pero po, may isa pa pong tanong na accredited ba? Kasi mamaya, bumalik na sa normal next year. Accredited ba yung homeschooling natin? Yes na yes po ang sagot. Because the documents that you will be receiving, the progress report that you will be receiving, it's as if you are a regular student. So, wala pong problem doon.
And then the assessments are all built in dun sa system ninyo. Ano nga po ba daw ang differences nung lima? Ay nako, pakipanood po yung ating uh, video dun sa FAQs. But I will just go a rundown. Yung pong basic ay um, offline. Advanced, offline. Basic, basic. Simple learning kits. Advanced, naka-modules po siya. All of those are geared towards the five major subjects. All minor subjects, true to all options, ay project-based po ang mangyayari sa atin. Now, doon sa pagsa-start ng, ah, wait, later po po yun. Doon sa customized, um, we can mix and match. There are a lot of curriculums available, international, local, as simple as DepEd Commons, you can adopt it, but it has to be in coordination with us. Ipo propose niyo po, and then we will have to approve based on the mi mi matching with the DepEd competencies para wala po tayong problem. Ngayon po, yung question na isa is, um, would there be video conferencing for advanced, basic, and customized? Sorry po, wala. Kasi po, yan po talaga yung pure na pure na homeschooling. So, if you're going to uh, uh, adopt this three, wala pong video conferencing na magaganap. Pero, because of the request of some parents, meron silang inaasa namin na teacher. Baka naman pwedeng every month ma-monitor yung anak namin or merong pop-up, pop-up na video conference with the teacher and the other classmates. Pag ganun po, we're coming up with a ano, additional service for additional fee po. I hope you don't mind because it's an additional burden for the teachers to do. Imagine doing a calendar for you. So, we will come up with, with an option para po dun sa need na yon. Tapos, may isa pa pong question. When will be the start of classes? Now, please, napaka-importante nito, parents, ha? I hope you don't mind. Noong una po, nag-send po kami ng memo. Ay, talaga naman po, mahaba yun kasi we wanted to explain everything po to the detail. Siyempre, yung ibang parents, tanong nito, tanong dyan, ano? Kaya po siguro, kailangan yung isang skill na ma-develop, yung skill ng pagbabasa. Pwede po, di ba? Babasahin, iintindihin, para maunawaan. Kasi po, kalimitan ng mga tinatanong, nandun na po kasi. So just the same, busy kasi, we try to simplify it using the infographics. So nag-infographics po, nandun na po, nakalagay po doon, when is the start of classes? It's very flexible. As early as June 15 for advanced, basic, and customized. Pero po, pagdating sa remote and blended, it could be late at a later date. Pero yung mahuhuli po, if you want to follow the August 24, late din po kayo matatapos. But it's just fine. Yun lang, may iba backtrack kayo mga videos at may mamimiss po kayo ng mga online um, sync video conferences. But it's just fine because we are still able to um, record it and replay it for some others who missed it. So, once again, the enrollment is evolving. It's not, it's not as fixed as it was before. You could start as early as soon as the materials are available. Eh, paano daw yung orientation? June, ano nga ba yung sinat natin? June 26 or something. We can do orientation para po dun sa gusto na magsimula earlier ahead of time. So there's no problem with that. Okay. Um, pag, patungkol po dun sa fees and other things, you can send a message to our Facebook page and dun sa email po. So all of the details of the tuition fee, etc. By the way, we're not calling it tuition fee anymore. It's an all-in program fee. Binabaan na po natin. If you're going to compare with the other schools, magugulat kayo, mababa po talaga ang fees natin as in. It's a public service. We just want to help more people during these trying times. So yung reservation po ba ibabawas? Definitely po. Yung po ang maganda dun sa mga nag-enroll na ay nagpa-reserve. Wala na po silang babayaran upon enrollment kasi carry na po nung uh, reservation fee. I think the difference na lang is the textbooks or ebooks. By the way, ebooks, textbooks, same content. It's just for some other parents, they would want to have a tangible book 
so that it's not always online. Pwedeng sagutan offline yung ibang mga assignments. So, you have a choice. If you want to save some amount of money, you go for ebooks. But if you want the printed books, I think the only price difference is 800 or 900 pesos. What other questions do we have? I think those are the things. But basta send a PM and mabilis po ang sagot namin ngayon. Um, tapos email. Uh, oh, by the way, for the payments, it's also through bank transfer, bank deposit, GCash, or PayPal. Do not forget this. Send your proof of payment. We will acknowledge it. But then again, the OR, the official receipt, will be sent to you later pa po, as soon as we have it po. Right now, we are very sorry. The physical office is closed, but the virtual office is always open. Patulugin naman po natin ng konti yung ating po mga staff na sumasagot doon. As much as possible, the office time po is 9 a.m. May lunch break naman po konti to 5 p.m. po. Once again, do not forget to like our Facebook page ng Wise Kids and also the Teacher Mitch um, YouTube channel. Marami pa po akong isusunod kasi gusto ko lang po talaga. My heart is really all out there. Hindi kami pinapansin before sa homeschooling. Ngayon, panahon na na i-promote ang homeschooling kasi yun naman talaga nung unang panahon. Ang unang teacher ni Jose Rizal ay ang kanyang nanay. So pwede naman bumalik. At ang ganda po ng bonding, medyo mahirap lang sa umpisa, but with a positive mindset, and of course, with the help of God, doable and possible. Okay, so I, I think it's, it's a good to go already. I'll see you again. Thank you po sa flood of hearts, sa thumbs up. Thank you po. At nakita ko, just uh, seeing the names of these parents who are very supportive to their children. Maraming maraming salamat po. Tumataba ang puso ko. Makita ko lang mga pangalan ng aking mga sujante. Iiyak ako and I really miss school so much. But then again, we just have to bear with this for a moment po. So see you again. Tanong ng bayan, schooling at home, kaya ba? Anong sagot mo? Kakayanin. Basta tulong tulong. Okay, good night po and God bless you all.